Oh God. I did not mean for this to be as negative as it was and I did not mean to cry. I did not want to cry. Christmas program at his school and he was so cute. He was so cute. I could not take it. He was like goofing off the whole time, which made it cute. Like the kids that were doing what they were supposed to do, they were cute too. But it, I don't know, I just find it cute when they're like goofing off and trying to make the person next to them laugh. That's what he was trying to do the whole time was make the girl next to him laugh. It was so funny. So today is a little bit different. Um, my ex-husband is gonna come and pick Roman up. It's his day with the kids. He's gonna come pick up Roman and he's gonna take all of the kids to see the new Spider-Man movie. So I have some time to go Christmas shopping and get some stuff done and then Tim's gonna take me to dinner. So it's gonna be nice to like just have an evening to just, you know, no kids, that type of evening. I'm like a little bit worked up right now. Um, I try not to let myself get this way when it comes to other people's negativity um but it was from a family member and i especially coming from family members try not to let it bother me as much but sometimes it does bother me unfortunately i've had a lot a lot of negative people comments just that's it right there see it's non-stop don't mind my bed. I didn't make it today. Don't judge me. Anyways, I've had a lot of e coming from family and close friends and even people I don't even know, never even spoken to them before in my entire life, come to me and bring me down for what I do. I do YouTube. This is, this is what I do. I have decided to buckle down and focus on YouTube and that was my decision and my decision alone. Nobody else helped me make that decision. And I feel like it was the right decision to do because it is working out better than I ever had imagined. And I get to spend every single freaking day with my kids. And who the hell cares? I never ever judge somebody for what they do and how they make their money. Why are people attacking me and not just people? I'm talking about my family. Now I'm not gonna throw names out there because that's just gonna start drama. If you're like, oh, gosh, I don't even know how to like, I have no idea. Why? What do you get out of it if you are dragging somebody down for what they do? 
Are you that unhappy with your life that you've got to drag somebody else down with you? That doesn't make any sense. What are you getting out of it? You're not going to ruin my day. It just makes me feel like, holy cow, people are mean. As you guys can see, it, to me, it's not okay. It's not. If, and unfortunately, in the past um, couple weeks, the kid, not just me, the kids and I have had to deal with a lot of negativity from their school, from my family, from friends, from people we've never met. There's been some a lot of negativity lately and we've had to deal with it. And we've overcome it and we're fine. So for family members to attack, I don't wanna say family members, it's a certain family member to come and attack me and say you don't work get a real job obviously i'm not going i don't i don't have to prove anything to anybody i don't owe you anything but i know that i work i work my butt off tim knows i work <laughs> trust me he's got to go to bed by himself every single night because i am up late editing every single night and it's a strain but we don't let it bother us because he sees how much I love doing this and he is my biggest supporter. I'm gonna cry. He is my biggest supporter in doing YouTube. And he loves that I do this and he loves how much I love doing it. And I love him for that. I literally could not have asked for anyone better, honestly. Not one time has he ever complained. Not once. Has he ever complained about me staying up till 2, 3 in the morning editing and not spending time with him? I love YouTube and I love doing what I do and I love that we have all of these memories. Oh, God. I did not mean for this to be as negative as it was and I did not mean to cry. I did not want to cry. It's just whenever I talk about Tim because I love him so much. Thank you, babe, for being a huge supporter. My phone is blowing up, for real, because I'm not putting up with negativity. I'm just not. Tim just told me that he left work early and is coming to see me early today. And I'm super excited about it. Can't wait to see him. So we get to start Christmas shopping a little bit early today. And I really needed that today, honestly, because I hadn't even told him. Holy cow. I haven't even told him like everything yet and I feel like maybe he just sensed that I was a little upset so I don't know I'm excited that he's coming okay so my phone was blowing up I thought maybe it was Tim or I don't know who it was but it was Haley blowing up my phone she is at a birthday party right now but I guess she just kind of wanted to make sure that she knew that she was coming home soon so she she knew that I knew that I was coming home soon, whatever. I don't know how I said that. So anyways, she's gonna come home and then her dad's gonna come here. They're gonna pick up their bag that they need or whatever and then they're gonna go off to see their movie. So I should probably get their bag back though. All right guys, so we are out being adults and just <laughs> left Target and I was trying to figure out what the whole rave was about these new poopsie things, right? Poopsie, poopsie unicorn. Poopsie unicorn things. Because my kids don't ever talk about them. They don't ever ask about them. Nobody's asked for them for Christmas or anything. But apparently, they're super popular. <gasps> Thank you. They're super popular. And I didn't even know what they were. I didn't know if it was slime or if it was like a squishy or what it was. So I had to look at it, look it up on YouTube while we were checking out to see what it is. What's the YouTube? You too. <laughs> Anyways, I don't really see what the whole big deal is about it and no wonder my kids aren't really like into it because it's the same thing as like it's like a, it comes with like a thing of slime and then like a little trinket thing so I don't know that's why. Anyways we just tried to go to Target to get some stuffing stuffers and we failed miserably because we went to the dollar section and it was like there was like nothing there and it wasn't even a dollar it was like three to eight dollars 
All we need is stocking stuff. I just need stocking stuff. So now we got to figure out a different place to go for stocking stuffers. So we're about to go to dinner though, because we're not going to go searching around or for stocking stuff. Or are we? I don't know. That's why I looked at you like, and it was hesitant while I was saying it. Home Depot? <laughs> Get them some some screws and stuff. I'll we'll see you guys. Now you can't drive around with that light on. It's illegal. It's like, no, parents just say that to you when you're a kid. I'm pretty sure it's illegal to drive around with a light on in your car. Parents tell you that when you're a kid, so you'll stop asking to turn the light on. What Comment is down below and tell us. <laughs> Comment down below and tell me what is a good place to get stocking stuffers for your kids that is not outrageously priced. What do you stuff in your kids' stockings? Let me know. Comment down below. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think of, like different ideas for stocking stuff. Mm-hmm. Cotton balls? Because normally I put like candy and like uh, fingernail polish and chapstick and Oh, we do have to go to Five Below though, because I wanted to get them phone chargers and new phone screen protectors for their phones. But yeah, on. what else do you put in their stocking? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll either. figure it out. We always do. Anyways, okay. I'm hungry now that we. Oh, are you hungry? Okay. I'm excited. I've never been to this place. So good. Mm. And he says it's so good. So I have like this spicy, it's called kimchi. It's like cabbage. Never had it. And they like give you sides of it for like your food and I eat it plain. You might not like it. Why won't I like it? Is it spicy? Yeah. Oh, I might not then. It's fermented. Cabbage. I like spicy, but I don't like spicy, spicy. And I know you like spicy, spicy. It's fermented. I don't know what that means. It's like rotten. It's like they bury the cabbage in the ground and let it rot. And then... Ew. <laughs> Who would eat that? You. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously safe if they serve it in an American restaurant. That's gross. Hey, hey, no coffee. No coffee. Why? I was trying to do a montage, but you totally ruined it. Sorry. <laughs> You guys are being super weird talking about eating handcuffs. Uh, we just eat We're dinner. just kidding. We just eat dinner. Yeah. We're not hungry. For real? Yeah. Did you enjoy your Spider-Man movie? Yeah. Was it funny? No, no I failed. Uh, now I'm watching. Uh, now I'm watching. Bye. What was your favorite part about the movie? Uh, like, uh, like, all the characters. All the characters? Yeah. Who was your favorite? Man. Yeah. Uh huh. I like cookie squirrel seed. Ah! Is that new girl? Did you just say you like cookie squirrel seed? Cookie squirrel seed? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, Tim and I ended up going to dinner and it was very good. Um, We didn't end up going anywhere else to shop because it's late and we're getting old and we don't like to be out past nine. While you sit there and drink your cup of coffee. I could fall asleep after this cup is empty though, so. I know. We were like roughhousing with Roman earlier and I pretended like he killed me. And I was laying on the floor dead and I didn't want to get back up. I was about to fall asleep on the floor. <laughs> but I woke you up because I was jealous. <laughs> Does that I make just... us old? We're young at heart. <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't even play that game with him for five minutes. <laughs> I was done. So I'm going to go ahead and end today's vlog. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. And we'll see you later.